saw, um, you saw book three, Patchy Means Enemy. I remember showing uh, you that. What did you think when I first showed you that book? Remember? Well, I don't know. I... Ah, gosh, I don't know. I think the first would be, oh, I was a little bit speechless and then a little <laughs> bit grossed out and a little bit fascinated and um, impressed. A little bit, a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, grossed out. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit sick. I thought in some of them. I you know, just why? Well, well I, I was unaccustomed to that. Never seen anything like that. You know, I was just always used to just really, I don't know, playboy, penthousey type uh. um, explicitness. You know, maybe the most grossest thing I saw probably was something in The Hustlers or, you know, but... But what did you think particularly with, like, the beadwork and, like, the Native American well, that, symbolism that's, and stuff? That, that, that I like, thought was cool. <laughs> so you weren't, you weren't the offended? Or? No, no, that, that didn't really... Um, no, that didn't really get my goat, so to speak. Yeah. yeah that's uh, cool, because a lot of times I know you've spoke on my behalf in front of other Native American uh -huh. stuff. Yeah. Um, well, I think the way I was raised or brought up, I think just the explicitness of the, the really close shots, the, all that. It's because you were raised a Mormon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So to see all that was... Just, Are you Mormon now? Mm, I don't know, to be honest. I, I, I don't practice the religion. I, I don't. I guess I can say that I'm not, but I don't know. It's a weird. It's it's weird. I truly, really haven't figured it out myself, other than the fact that it did play a, a role. It did play an influence in my life. It did affect me when I did live um, with a Mormon foster family. So all of that, yeah, you know, it was all different. It was all so confined and so oh god I don't know. what do you think about satanism oh, As satanism? You know, yeah like church of satan satanism mm, well now it doesn't really bother me after talking to you and um, just how you you expressed and how you lived your life with, within that realm it doesn't bother me i don't I just look at it as a whole uh, different religion, you know, it's just like black and white to me, that's how I see it, you know, there's just some um, influence from it. I mean, if it's a religion, then it's just opposite of Christianity, I like, you know, the devil God or Jesus God or, or God and Jesus against the devil or whatever, black, that's how I, how I see it, it doesn't bother, it doesn't freak yeah. me out anymore, I mean, when I first came across um, Satanism, which would have been with you, was I was, to be honest, a little bit scared. I, mean, I wasn't, I was unfamiliar with it. I didn't know what was up, you know. I really didn't. And to go back to answer your question about how, how, how what I thought about your work was, um, when I first saw your work, it was in um, a gay porno mag, you know. So I kind of thought it was just different because it was Elia that showed me some of your work first. Mm, before so, you met me, yeah. you saw that, like Hacho Magazine. Yeah, and, and, and magazine. as well as some of your, your other um, paintings and illustrations, aside from the, the porno mags. Um, I thought it was great. I thought it's still great. I think you're great. Yeah, I think you're a great Thank artist. You. Thank yeah. you. Um, and to be honest, I, I did because you you had your work in homo uh, erotic ism I thought you were gay you I'm, know? I'm only 35% gay yeah <laughs> I mean I was 20% but at this point I'm like 35% so you know I pre pre assumed and prejudged you as a person you know I didn't really you know it's I, a sex fiend yeah something like that I don't know but I was curious to meet you you know as an artist you know because I, I was being introduced to a whole new world of art, to be honest. Yeah, you got overloaded. Yeah. Off the reservation to Albuquerque and then like 
all these different people and yeah. their hard work and what they were doing. And well, with I, what I was doing was popular, cozy Indian work. You know, it was um, Santa Fe, you know, it was like being in a in a little a circle of of friends. It's weird that in the Indian art world there is a status. If you know, if you're in the Indian market, well then, oh, kudos for you, you know. And um, compared to someone that's um, really trying to make a living, yeah. you know, busting out really good shit, and then having to hustle it at Earls and in, in Gallup, you know. How, how did that? community re react when you were doing the Cocapellis with the hard-ons and some of them are oh, they love political it. Most jewelry of them, and stuff. Most of them. I mean, yeah. some of them are still conservative, so they get a bit embarrassed. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> Everyone almost laughs. It, especially Navajos. Yeah, I I, it, Navajos have a good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> when, I show, <laughs> when I show the, the ex my explicit jewelry, or my erotic jewelry, let me yeah. call it that, yeah. um, they laugh. They, they think it's great. Some get embarrassed, you know, <laughs> and some, yeah. um, like when I take it to shops, they, they, I don't know, they, they, they laugh too, you know, they cackle or smile, but on, on a whole, they, um, either they don't, they don't like it or they don't, mm -hmm. or they do. Has the sexual aspect of influence from meeting me and seeing my work and Big stuff? Big time. Yeah. Yeah. I never really thought of doing erotic work in my jewelry. Yeah. Not at all, other than. You know, giving Coca-Cola his heart on, you know. Which is but, traditional, but right? That, that's you know, how you <laughs> see that. You yeah, know? yeah. They like... And, and then... It's Western culture that topped yeah. off his penis. And then recently I've, I've been doing a... Nudity. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> homo coca -Pelli. I've been doing that. Awesome. Where, yeah, we're... we're uh, I got coca -Pelli's giving it giving each other head and... <laughs> one going down on the other one um, actually <laughs> That's uh, great. Um, what fucking one another coca awesome. belly, yeah so, coca so I, it, it didn't make the, the the gay pride that's what I was working for I was uh, getting an inventory together for gay pride a couple of weeks ago in Albuquerque but I didn't oh. make it out oh darn yeah but you know mm. I, I'm still in that circle of, of, of people so I know I can still sell it yeah mm -hmm.